The game of water polo can be dirty. I don't advocate dirty play, but we need to be prepared for it. Here's a couple things you can do when you're guarding two meters to protect yourself. The first thing, I'm gonna guard Blake here. I'm never gonna put my face right behind his head because if he throws his head back or head butts, he's gonna get my nose right here. I'm always gonna be on the side of him here or the side of him here. If he throws his head back here, I'm okay. Don't ever put your head right behind their head. They could even headbutt you accidentally. The second thing you can do is when the ball turns over, Blake's gonna be heading back on defense, I'm gonna be heading to offense. A common thing for a dirty player to do will be to starting block and kick off me really hard. I've had that happen, it hurts. So what you wanna do, you wanna do two things. First, you wanna assume they're always gonna kick off you. Okay, if you assume they're gonna kick off you, you're gonna be prepared for it. Don't just sit there, legs down, thinking that they're not gonna kick you, okay? Assume they're gonna kick you, number one. Number two, you can get your knees up into your chest, so if he kicks you, he kicks my shin. Go ahead and kick me. He's gonna kick my shins, he's not gonna get soft tissue. So knees up into the chest, absorbs that starting block if it's coming, and I can also use my hands to push down on his legs to thwart that blow so it's not a direct blow with his legs. When you're wrestling in the water, you need to protect yourself from getting hurt and don't leave yourself vulnerable to a dirty player. I'm David Farkas from Shaquatics Water Polo. We'll see you next time.